Here at EAP, we strongly believe in excellence. That is why we have provided ongoing training for our teams. Just this year alone, we have had occupational and speech therapy consultation, fire evacuation drills, first aid training, fitness training with Noel and Kim from Daily Muscle, and internal trainings with Dr. Perrin, Dr. Nan, Mervin Jayasila, and Chris Sekar. We also run Wednesday reboots for the team every term as well as bi-monthly Saturday trainings. We've also had the honour of speaking at multiple external events. Among those include conducting an ABA workshop for the Ministry of Education, speaking to the students at Sunway University, Sunway International School, UCSI and IMU, IUMW, a freshman lunch as well as a dialogue session at HELP University, a parent support group in FGA and a Petronas special needs fair in KLCC. In conjunction with the World Autism Awareness Month in April, EAP Malaysia hosted a month-long campaign called Hashtag We Are Family 2015. The campaign included Q&A sessions with Joe, our director, parent training workshops, an interview with BFM, partnership with UCSI University, and of course, wearing blue on 2nd of April to show our support on World Autism Awareness Day. Our aim was to raise awareness in the community that individuals with autism are unique and amazing. We run social skills group class every term with our toddlers, intermediate and advanced group. Our objective is to build friendship among themselves, to support each other in social skills deficits and to build their self-esteem. In addition to that, we provide a support group called Sibling Day once every three months to support kids whose siblings are affected by autism. Bridge the Gap 2015 School Edition was a huge success. Dr. Nan, our senior consultant from Wisconsin Early Autism Project, and Joshua Beth Isaacs, our very own director, spoke on transitioning children with autism to mainstream schools. We saw over a hundred individuals come and get impacted by what was shared, and it is without a doubt that everyone left with their questions answered. We look forward to Bridge the Gap 2016, so stay tuned for details. This year, we have launched Hashtag Project Hope, which is our initiative to bring hope to the community in various ways. We have raised funds internally for our Nepali security guard, whose home has been affected by the earthquake, provided free resources online, be it clinical or creative ideas, conducted a complimentary training for a non-profit organisation in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, run termly parent training workshops, ran a parent support group in FGA, and provided two scholarship models. For Project Hope Christmas Edition, we took part in Kingdom City's gift giving and distribution project where we bought, packed and distributed gifts to two different special needs centres. The first place we went to was Persatuan Kebajikan Kanak-Kanak Kurang Upaya or P3KU, a centre consisting of 20 to 25 children with a wide spectrum of special needs from autism to Down syndrome and physical disabilities. We also went to Pusat Kasih Sayang YWCA, a non-profit organisation housing about 17 women with Down syndrome. At both places, we sang carols, played games, danced and most of all connecting with them, bringing hope and showing them love. We want to make sure that even though these individuals are different from us, they are definitely not less valued or important. Here at EAP, we believe in honouring and celebrating the big and the small. We held our annual dinner on the 5th of December to appreciate and love on our team members. We had performances, awards, gifts and of course a dance floor to end the night with. We never want to take for granted what our team does on a daily basis, changing the world one child at a time. In years, EAP has impacted hundreds of children from almost 30 different countries. It continues to be our vision to provide world-class services that support individuals with autism and their families in leading fulfilling lives. It has been an amazing 10 years so far and we look forward to the next 10 years where we hope to make an impact on public policy and hopefully make ABA accessible to all in Malaysia and in the region. We hope you were able to catch us on BFM, The Bella Show, Star Newspaper and The China Press. Do stay tuned with us by following us on our official Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Pinterest accounts. Well, that's it from us for 2015. We look forward to seeing what 2016 has in store for us. 
Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year!